Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating a card that was designed by design team member Anna using new products from the July 2017 release. For her cards, Anna used the fringe scallop border dynamics dies to create two really fun kind of fringe covered card fronts. And I'm going to recreate one of the cards, but I'm actually going to change it up a tiny bit just to show a different variation on how this can be done. So on her two card designs, she used an orange, yellow, and green color palette on one of them. And then she also used a black, gray, and white color palette. For my card, I'm going to do a rainbow palette. So we're going to change it up just with the different colors that we're going to use. And I'm also going to change the orientation of my card. So rather than do landscape, I'm going to do a vertical card. So to start off, I have a big panel of white cardstock here. And I'm just adding ink to this entire panel using Distress Inks. And I'm starting at the bottom and going in rainbow order and just kind of adding each of the different colors and kind of going back and forth with the different blending tools to kind of make sure I have all of this color blended. I don't want any really big harsh lines in between each color so I'm making sure to really blend them out. And then I'm making sure that the top area where the purple is is a really large area because we're going to have that be part of the card front and have that piece on its own be very large. I'm also adding water to the panel to give it that distressed look by adding the water splotches. And then once I have that done and I have the panel completely dry we can take our fringe scallop borders and do a whole lot of die cutting. So for this card here, I'm going to use the straight edge one. There's one that's kind of bowed in the middle and one that has a straight edge. And I'm going to run this through my die cut machine repeatedly with this panel to cut out a bunch of different scalloped borders. Now I'm going to start at the bottom with the red and just kind of work my way up and just repeatedly cut this out until I have a whole bunch of these. So now you can see here I ran these all through and I have this really big purple piece that we're going to add to the top. And then I have all of the fringe scallop borders going down in rainbow order from the top to the bottom. Now you can see here when I add the scallop to the card front, you're going to be able to see that white from the card base underneath that very bottom scallop. So I want to make sure that I have color on there so that it all looks continuous. So I'm taking the exact same color of red that I used to do the little fringe scallop and I just added that red color to the bottom. I adhered the purple cardstock panel to the top and now we're going to work our way from the bottom of the card base up towards the top adding all of these fringe scallop detail. So I'm starting with the red and then just kind of going in order and I have them all in order beside me so I can just quickly grab what I need and just add it onto the card. Now you can kind of see as I'm adding these, when I add one on you can kind of see the white detail of the card base underneath and you don't have to worry about that because we're staggering the scallop borders. We're going to cover that white space up every time we add a new scallop piece on. And what this is going to do is just, just going to allow us to space these out a little bit more so don't worry about that white space. It gets completely covered and it leaves us with this really fun consistent design of these scallops kind of staggering across the card front. And as I was adding the pieces on, I realized that I was going to run out of my little scallops here. So it works out perfectly that you leave the solid color on the top because I was able to just add more purple ink to another piece of cardstock, do the same water distressing, and then cut out three additional scallops that I could add to the top area. So we do have a little bit more purple on this card than the rest of the colors, but I think it looks fine and it worked out with no problem. So now that I have all of the scallops added on, I'm just going to take my scissors and very carefully cut up the side of the card to remove the excess. And then once we do that, we're left with this really super fun card design. We have this beautiful rainbow pattern. I love the fringe detail in the scallops. It just adds so much more dimension and texture to the finished card. And then we have this nice area at the top where we can add a sentiment. So for the sentiment, we're going to use the new Celebrate Dynamics die. This is a handwritten type font die, and I absolutely love it. It's big, it's bold, it looks so nice, especially with a card like this where we have a lot of color. So I've die cut this just from black cardstock, and I'm just going to take some matte multimedium and fully cover the entire back of this die cut. I like to just kind of take my time and just add little dots of glue all the way around this, and that is going to allow us to easily place this onto the card and make sure that it stays fully adhered to the card front. I like using liquid glue when I do a sentiment like this because it allows me to have a little bit of room to kind of move it around before the adhesive really sticks down on the card. To add this on, I like to use my tweezers. It just helps me kind of see better. It gets my fingers out of the way and I'm able to make sure I have it lined up exactly how I want it. So I just positioned it up there at the very top of the card and then I, once I had it exactly how I wanted it, I just kind of pressed down and made sure that it was fully adhered. And then once I have that done, our card is complete and we have this really fun rainbow scallop fringe covered card front. I just love it. I love the designs Anna came up with. Thank you so much to her for creating this card that we could recreate. And thank you so much for joining me today in today's video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.